Okay. Hello, I'm Heather and I'll be the teacher. I'm Kate and I'll be a student. I'm Annie and I'll be a student. I'm Savannah and I'll be a student. I'm Maddie and I'll also be a student. Um, but I'm going to describe what we're doing. Um, we're working with kindergarten um, and our performance expectation is plan and conduct an investigation to compare the effects of different strengths or different directions of pushes and pulls on the motion of an object. Um, and then our materials that we're using, um, we have this skateboard with a crate and then a bungee cord right here with handles on both sides and then we have um, some extra weight to put in the crate. Yet. And now we're going to demonstrate by um, going through what we would do. All right. So these will be the direction portion. Okay. There we go. All right. So we'd start by having the students at the carpet area. <coughs> so, um, hello, students. So I see um, that there's this really, really fun uh, crate and skateboard up at the front. So today we're going to talk about how to move things and um, how things affect the way things move. Um, but before we start, I just want to go over a few safety expectations um, just so we're all respectful and responsible during our experiment. So uh, to start, I just want you to know that these are all my things um, and I really care about them and I don't want them to get ruined. So I want you to be gentle with them and be respectful um, because if they get broken, I'll be really sad. Um, so you're not allowed to sit or stand on the skateboard and um, if you want to come up here and move the skateboard, you, you have to do so by using the handles. So if you want to move it in any way, you use the handle to do so. Um, if you come up here, you have to wait for me to say, like, yes, you can pull it, or just wait a few more minutes. Um, and it, don't let go of the rope until I say it's safe. Um, and lastly, if the expectations are not followed, um, I'm going to ask you to go back to your desk and sit down and watch, just because it's really... Um, it's really for our own safety, so yes. Okay, now, um, how could I get this crate to move? Does anyone have any ideas? Annie? Um, I think you can move it by pulling it. Ooh, that's a great idea. Why do you think that would work? Because um, I know if I'm lazy and want to drag my bag across the floor, I pull it behind me. Okay, do you want to come try it? Sure. All right, yeah, there you go. Cool. Nice so job. did that work for you? It did. All right. Does anyone else have any other ideas on how they could move this crate? Savannah? I think maybe we should just kick it. Well, that is one way to move it, but remember that it's my stuff, so I don't think um, kicking would be the most safe way. Can you come up with another idea on how to move this cart? Could I push it? Possibly. That's a safe way to move it. Would you like to come try? Yes. Okay. Oh, there you go. See, it works. <laughs> um, okay, now, to take this even further, what would happen if we put something in the cart that made it heavier? How would that change the way that you move the cart? Maddie? I think it would be harder to move. You think it would be harder? Why do you think that? Well, if you add something, then that, it will be heavier. So. Okay, I'm going to take this and place it. Oh, wait, no, come on up. <laughs> so first, I want you to try to, to move it without anything in it, just so you can have a reference. So, yep, you can start pulling it. Okay, great job. Thank you for using the handle to pull. Um, now I'm going to add this big book in there to add some weight. So now pay attention to how it feels when you pull it. Okay. Did that make a difference? Yeah, it was a lot harder. It was a lot harder? Mm -hmm. Do you think that was because it was heavier? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, okay, so now that we've kind of established <coughs> that it's you can um, move this crate by pulling it, and if you add more weight to it, it makes it harder to pull, um, what do we think would happen if we had two students pulling on either side? 
How would how would the cart move or how would it not move? I think whoever's stronger will end up getting the cart by them. Like it will be closer to them. Okay. Why do you think that? Um, because they're stronger, so they'll pull it more. Mm -hmm. Does anyone else agree with Kate and want to try it? Savannah? Mm -hmm. Okay, come up and try it. So grab it by the hands. Um, so before we do this, just remember our safety precautions. So first I'll need you to sit down for this. Um, and start pulling when I say so, and don't let go. That's the most important thing. Do not let go. Um, all right, you can start pulling. Okay, so what do we see happening here, class? Maddie? Um, it's in the middle, but at, in the beginning it started moving, but then it went down. Uh-huh, okay. Anybody else? What do you see? Um, it's hard to get it closer to me, even though I'm stronger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, does any, yep, Savannah? Well, I don't really think that she's stronger than me. Maybe we're equally strong. Ah, I like that. See, because if you were... If you were stronger, it'd be on your side, possibly. And if you were stronger, it'd be on your side. Um, okay, so you may let go. There we go, in a safe way. There you go. Um, okay, so now what would happen if we had two students on one side and just one student on the other? How would that change the way the cart would move? Annie? I think two students would definitely be stronger than one student. Okay. Would you like to try it? I would love All right. to go. Come on up and grab onto half the handle. There you go. Um, and j for when you start, just gently push it just or pull it just because we don't want it to fly back. So you can start pulling. Oh, my goodness. So what do you see happening? It's definitely closer to us. It is definitely closer. So you were right. Good job. Um, okay. So now you may go back to your seats. And um, at this point... We would open it up to a discussion, um, and so a few of the discussion questions we would ask was, "What do you see happening, and why? Um, did you did the extra weight make it on the skateboard make a difference? Um, how did the movement change when two kids pulled on either side, and how did it change when it when it, one kid was added?" So we'd um, open these questions up with the students, have a discussion, and then we're, when we're done with the discussion, um, they would go back to their desks and write a diagram of either scenario that they witnessed today in their science notebook. So just a sketch of which way they were pulling and what happened. So, yep, that's about it.